Hey guys, so last week filming this, I did actually have a bit of a breakdown and after said breakdown, I fell asleep. And so I'm just gonna try to do a quick recap right now and <clears throat> end this off on a moderate note. So after hitting a wall after college, um, I realized that I like, just needed to seek some help. So I was able to find free therapy through NAMI. Um, I began talk therapy in Jul July, January 2017. I ended up getting my big girl job in April that same year. And I've been there ever since. You know, I work, I work for a fancy, not fancy, we well, yeah, I think they're fancy now, insurance company. Um, had a new psychologist in October 2017 because then I made too much money at that point to have my original psychologist who was my fave, like so far. And so I had been in talk therapy since then. Um, you know, there's been a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of breakdowns, but it's just um, one of those things that you just have to work on and try your best to stay focused and try to stay positive and focused forward. Um, I had to take a break for a little bit just because I couldn't find the time in my schedule to fit it in and also there's like a whole lot of living situation problems I was having this past year. But now I'm going back in therapy. I'm going um, in there tomorrow to see my psychologist. And then the, oh, this month I'm seeing a psychiatrist. So I'll do, I guess, some sort of mental up, health update to tell you how that went and see if there's any new diagnosis that's going on in my noggin here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just want to know if you guys have any more questions for me. Um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe down below. Feel free to, feel free to share. Um, feel free to share this video. Um, let me know if you want me to do any other videos about mental health. Like one, I guess would be like new diagnoses. Um, if you want to know how I end up on medication and what it's like taking medication. Um, specifically, I take antidepressants. So if you want to let me know about that, comment down below. If you want to know about my suicide attempt, comment below so I know what to talk about next. Um, but yeah, if... If you feel like you're struggling and um, you don't know what to do, um, I will always say you can always reach out to Mental Health America or um, NAMI, which stands for National Alliance of Mental Health, or Mental Illness, sorry. National Alliance of Mental Illness. And if you don't feel like doing those things, there's always the suicide hotline. You can either call um, at 1-800-273-8255 or you can text I to text better person that's my pin like my thing you can text them at 747-747 and they will text you back within like not usually good usually 15 minutes as long as I'm going to be for someone to respond if you're in a crisis so please feel free to use those resources if you feel like you're at risk or if you feel like you can't handle anything we're talking about we want to see you survive and thrive okay and um, it's gonna be it till next time. Thank you for watching. Please remember you're not alone. There will be links down below in the description for more mental health resources. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.